I'm a good English teacher, right? I'm a good English teacher, right? My lessons are helping you, aren't they? You like my lessons, don't you? This video is about tag questions. Okay, what is a tag question? Well, a tag question is a short question that we put on the end of a sentence. Okay, like this. It's nice weather today, isn't it? It's nice weather today, isn't it? This is the tag question. Okay, now why do we do this? Well, we use tag questions for a few different reasons. One of the reasons is to seek confirmation. Okay, I'm a good English teacher, right? Sometimes I might not be sure if I'm a good teacher or not. Hmm, maybe I'm actually a bad teacher. No, I'm a good, I'm a good teacher, right? So I want your confirmation. That's why I put this word here. Okay, uh, we can also use tag questions to keep the conversation going. Okay, look at this. Even if you fail, it's always good to keep trying, right? If I say, even if you fail, it's always good to keep trying, right? Here I'm not seeking confirmation. I'm just trying to keep the conversation going. Okay, look at this example. This guy says, I don't really like popular girls, you know what I mean? And he says, yeah, they can be a bit stuck up sometimes. Okay, stuck up means arrogant. If a, if a girl is, is really popular, she might get arrogant. Another word we use is snobbish. If a girl is stuck up, that means she's snobbish. She, she looks down on everyone. Okay, so tag questions can be really short, like one word or they can be longer, like four or five words. Okay, I don't really like popular girls, you know what I mean? So he just, he's using this just to, to keep the conversation going, right? To acknowledge that the other person is in the conversation. Okay, now another reason we might use tag questions is to be indirect. Now, very often being indirect is polite. Okay, so that's good. Um, it, it means we're not being so arrogant, we're not being so harsh, or not thinking we know everything. Okay, look at this example. Uh, let's say me and you go shopping, okay? And after we're finished shopping, we walk out of the store, and you say, uh, where did we park? Where's our car? Where did we park? And I say, uh, we parked over there, didn't we? We parked over there, didn't we? Now, I know where we parked. I know we parked over there. But I might say this uh, just to make it more indirect and to make it a little bit more polite. If I say, we parked over there, okay, then you might feel stupid. I don't want you to feel stupid. So I'm making it very indirect. Okay, so it can be polite. Uh, take a look at this. So this guy says, I think John would like this car, wouldn't he? Uh, I don't think he likes cars, does he? Yeah, you're right. We probably shouldn't buy it for him, should we? Okay, here, uh, this guy is saying, wouldn't he? Uh, because he's actually asking for her advice, her opinion. Okay, I think John would like this car, wouldn't he? Okay, so he's asking for her opinion, but here uh, she's she's just trying to be polite and indirect. She knows that John doesn't like cars, but she's she says it like this. Uh, I don't think he likes cars, does he? Okay, she's doing that because she doesn't want to be rude. If she says, no, he doesn't like cars. Okay, that's a bit harsh, right? That's a bit direct. Sometimes it's better to be a little bit more indirect. Okay, yeah, you're right. We probably shouldn't buy a form, should we? Okay, so here, this guy is saying, should we, uh, just as a conclusion. It's like, he's, he's saying it to finish the thought, to finish the conversation, okay? It's done. 
So yeah, you're right. We probably shouldn't buy it for him, should we? It means he's made a decision and they don't need to talk about that anymore. Okay, now, so you can see tag questions are a little bit confusing. We have some different ways we can use them, but English isn't the only language with tag questions. Okay, a lot of other languages have tag questions too. Like Indonesians, uh, very often they have this tag question. Is it? You often hear Indonesians say, is it? For example, maybe you need a girlfriend, is it? Maybe you need a girlfriend, is it? Okay, in English, this is wrong. We can't use this tag question here. Okay, if we're going to say, is it? Then we need the word is in the main part of the sentence. Okay, the weather is not very nice today, is it? Okay, uh, now take a look at this. It's nice weather today, isn't it? So here we use isn't it, not is it. Why? Well, it's because this sentence is positive. Okay, so we need a negative tag question. So we need this. We can't say is it, because then we'd have two positives. We need one positive and one negative. Okay, so if this is positive, this has to be negative. It's nice weather today, isn't it? But look at this. The weather is not very nice today, is it? So here, the main part of the sentence is negative, so it has to be positive. We can't say isn't it here. Does that make sense? So when Indonesians say this, maybe you need a girlfriend, is it? This is actually the wrong tag question. I mean, we can't use it because there's no word is. There's no is in the main uh, sentence, right? But also, it's just, it's just the wrong, it's the completely wrong tag question. Okay, what we should say is, maybe you need a girlfriend, eh? Maybe you need a girlfriend, eh? Okay, now, in Canada, this tag question is very popular. We love using this word, a, eh? But in other countries, they would probably say something else, like this. Maybe you need a girlfriend, hey? Maybe you need a girlfriend, hey? Or, maybe you need a girlfriend, right? Or, maybe you need a girlfriend, don't you? Maybe you need a girlfriend, don't you? Or, maybe you need a girlfriend, you know? Maybe you need a girlfriend, you know? Now, Spanish speakers would say this. Maybe you need a girlfriend, no? Maybe you need a girlfriend, no? This is the most common word in Spanish. You know, when I hear Spanish speakers speaking English, they always end their sentences with no. Okay, if you're a Spanish speaker and you want to improve your English, one very easy, well, it's not easy, but it's simple. One simple tip is just take away the word no from the end of your sentences because in English, we don't say this. Okay, I've just given you a lot of other ones like, you know, maybe you need a girlfriend, you know. Okay, so, I want to ask you, do you have tag questions in your language? I'm sure you do. So I want you to tell me what those tag questions are down in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.